Okay, well, I'm Athena Finger. I'm the granddaughter of Bill Finger, the co-creator of Batman and Green Lantern and Wildcat. And he's done many other amazing things in the industry. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, it's always awesome to have you here. And uh, we want to do the Batman trailer reaction. We're a little late in doing this. and uh, But, you know, better late than never. So let's get into it. Ready. All righty. Ominous. Very old school with the red. is <laughs> reveal my hair is getting to that length <laughs> keep trying man I should change that to 2022, but yes. Yeah. Who knows when it'll be released? The question marks are correct. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts, Athena? Um, I mean, the trailer looks cool. I like how they've, you know, picked up the car and they're bringing in some key, you know, villains into this one. It's just, we'll have to see see how it all ties in it's kind of it's still under wraps like what the actual storyline of the movie is but i mean it looks cool i mean was this as dark as you were expect was it darker than you were expecting before you watched the tra- i mean i assume this wasn't your first time ever watching it um <clears throat> i wasn't sure what to expect i i kind of knew that it was going to be on the darker side considering they were basing it off of a pretty dark storyline with the um, Batman Halloween. I can't even think of the title now. That's so Full bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, it was kind of to be expected, but I wasn't quite sure what kind of a look they were going to go with. So it's it's going to definitely be, you know, different than the other movies, I think. I mean, I think they've gone in a different angle too. I mean, we've gone it a younger Bruce Wayne and a mm-hmm. younger Batman. And yeah, you know, I think it's just, it, it, it's a different take on it. I, I, you know, every time they come up with a never, a new version of the Batman, I just, I, I give them a chance to show their representation and some get it and some don't. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Batman's not an easy character to play either. Cause really we've talked about this before where you have to not just get the Batman part, you have to get the Bruce Wayne part. So we haven't really seen a young Bruce Wayne come into play. I mean, who 
Christian Bale, but he didn't come across as young. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was pretty weathered by the time he got to that role. As old as true, Chris true. O'Donnell's Robin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have faith in uh, Robert Pattinson. I mean, again, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I mean, with all mm-hmm. of the rumors and the talk behind the scenes about him not wanting to, you know, work out and buff out for the part or just being a drama queen and things like that. I mean, I, I... I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what could to all just be rumors. I just don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a cool look. He's got the jawline. He's he's a, an amazing actor. I mean, I've, mm-hmm. I've enjoyed several of his films. I've never seen any of the Twilight movies, so I I have no idea about the I, I think Chinese Pattinson, vampire. I think Pattinson would prefer <laughs> that you don't see his Twilight movies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, just, I know yeah. that he didn't really enjoy those films, so mm-hmm. it's more of his indie films that I've seen, and and you know that I think really does show his capability. So again, I'm just curious to see it as a, a whole piece. I mean, again, the trailer looks really cool. Hopefully, mm-hmm. it's not a hot mess like some of the other Batman movies that have come out recently. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I counted what four different villains in that one trailer. Or at least yeah. There's you know, a lot. There's Catwoman, there's Riddler, Penguin, Penguin Riddler. Catwoman. Yeah, and then just yeah, think, general yeah. police corruption throughout. Yeah, yeah I mean, even with the the um, the henchman with the Joker paint. I know the Joker's not in it, but I mean, that's mm-hmm. hinting to the Joker. And then you know, yes, the Riddler, and then way, we have yeah. Penguin. So there's just a lot going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if these it's been brought up to you before because people have been talking a lot about the the costume and everything. But uh, has it come to your attention that the insignia on his suit looks very similar to what's on the original, basically what's on yes. my shirt, the original Bill Finger 1939 uh, yes. take on that? Which is very cool. I think it's trying mm-hmm. to really bring back to the true roots of the character as far as the design of mm-hmm certain things like even with the the batmobile it's a car it's just souped up it's not a tumbler it's not this mm-hmm. over exaggerated that we've seen in the michael keaton movies or <laughs> animated ser- i mean it's not it's not phallic it's a car the muscle <laughs> car mm-hmm. right so um, the batmobile in this movie has the finger family approval <laughs> that's what i'm hearing right now well I mean, if you look at the original comics or the, the early comics, he didn't have a Batmobile. He had a right. car that had a bat face on top of right. part of it. Right. It was just a car. It yeah. wasn't this all like, you know, concept car. It was just a car. Right. Right. I agree with that. Yeah. And what are, what, are, what are your thoughts on the suit then? Overall, not just the insignia. Oh, the cool. It looks really cool. It looks like that it's got some cool, like, mobility to it. It doesn't look so stiff like right, some of the right. other suits. So um, I, I love to see it more in action. I mean, again, the trailer was very dark and very short and didn't show very much of him in action. So yeah. I, I, I'd like to see how the movement looks in the suit. Okay. Cool. Definitely. Yeah, what that's it- important. I mean, Michael Keaton turned his head in his costume, so he was doing a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You know, turned the whole body because he couldn't turn his head. (laughs) Maybe this one, he's got a little more flexibility in the movements that he has overall. Right. Yeah. Do you, you, like, do you ever get calls? Like, like, uh, do you want to be in the movie? Like, they're filming right now. As no. of this recording, no. you don't, don't want to go. You don't want to go to the UK or Chicago, <laughs> wherever they are now. Maybe not during this time. <laughs> not during this time of year, huh? Or well, this time I of mean, a pandemic. I, I, I have brought it up to them, and they're like, "Well," and I'm like, "You brought Stan Lee into like so many <laughs> different cameos, <laughs> right?" We had a couple fans say, you know, even when Gotham was out, like, "Why haven't you been brought in to do a cameo?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I've brought it up to them, and I've mentioned that." You know, the fans want to see some representation of Bill Finger mm-hmm. it as a little cameo. I mean, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, you could definitely at least be like in the background in that courtroom scene or whatever. Yeah, I mean, where the you know, have somewhere. a line, just you know, have like you said, as an extra sitting in the background, walking down the street, you know, yeah. uh, you know, selling him a cup of coffee. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, right, right. So that you could slip it in there and not, you know, say here you have a line and you have to say something. Mm-hmm. But. I mean, that's up to them. I have no control over that. <laughs> yeah. Heed our call, Warner Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Start a petition. That's all I got to say. <laughs> and awesome. what about uh, the the Penguin and Riddler so far, what, we, what we've seen so far? What are your thoughts on uh, on them, if you have any? We saw more about Catwoman than we did with the Riddler or Penguin. Riddler's well, they're not. They haven't said outright, but he's the guy with the tape in the beginning, right? More than likely. Yeah. Possibly, like yes. It. But that, I guess we don't have much on him yet. But we have like no. a shot of Colin Farrell in prosthetic makeup. Yes. As the Penguin, which, which is, fine. is interesting. I mean, again, it's so quick; you don't really get to see what's happening with these characters, mm-hmm. really. Right. I mean, you know that they're going to play a role in it, but what exactly? I don't know. <laughs> All right. From what I've heard, this is, this trailer was pretty much put together with what they were able to film before COVID put a halt to the production originally. So this is right. the best that they could do. And I think it did a pretty good job in terms of showing what they got so I mean, it's intriguing. It's definitely mm-hmm. intriguing to see where they're going to go with it from here. So we'll have to see what happens when they drop the next trailer. Yep. And we'll probably yeah, bring you sure. on in order to, we'll have a fresh react on that. So actually, yeah, we could do that for yeah. sure. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I'm probably going to be waiting a while, but you know. <laughs> we won't make you wait months like we did with this one. <laughs> yeah. so we are, as the fan base, we're probably going to be waiting months or a year anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah. we're going to have to wait some time. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So. Cool. Oh, we look forward to well, it. Yeah, we yes. look forward to it. Is is there, um, just last question, is there anything you want you'd like for them to do with this film of course it's pretty much already too late but what do you what would you like to see in this movie that we kind of haven't seen in previous batman movies oh um i don't know i think uh you know this is more of him coming more into the character again he's a younger bruce wayne batman so i'm not exactly sure how they're going to play that in and again i know that christopher nolan tried to show a lot of the younger Bruce Wayne coming in and, you know, studying with Raza Ghoul and going through that whole process and, and trying to find himself. Um, but I think that they, you know, there's, there's more there that really hasn't been tapped into. Um, but that's just me. I mean, I, I'm not really sure what they're allowed to play with, what they're not allowed to play with. It's also what the storyline is. Again, I don't know much about what's going to happen in this one since they have brought in so many characters. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I know that they do that in some of the comics, but a lot of them are focused on one one character that Batman goes against. And I think that I'd like to see more of that, kind of like what they did with the Tim Burton movie. I mean... Mm-hmm. It was Batman and Joker, you know, and that's what it was. And I mean, I know that they do that with the animated ones, but if you're going to do a live action, I don't know, not stick so much, so many characters into one. <laughs> right. It's been a while since we've seen I mean, Nolan even Nolan did one. it. He had Scarecrow and Bane, and then, mm-hmm. like, in the first one, he had Scarecrow and Raju Ghoul, and, like, that whole. Like it's and trying to get them to mesh together doesn't always work. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. (laughs) We'll we'll have to see. Fingers (laughs) crossed. Characters, yeah, (laughs) yes. But who am I to say anything? You know. (laughs) Well, you are only the granddaughter of the creator. (laughs) (laughs) Who are you? I mean, you're you're heir to the throne, as it were, the bat throne. I think they do want a, some input from me, but you know I'm not in the industry, so they're not gonna really come to me and say, "Hey, you know, you know." You get you get yeah. premiere passes though. I do, which is always fun, but 
That's not other than that, though, not, not a whole lot other than that, though, it seems mm-hmm. like. Well, no, it's just, you know, I'd like to be more in the whole process, not just the end with the uh, glitter and the, you know. I'd like to see more of what's going on behind the scenes, what's going on with the scripts, how they're, you know, manipulating it as they go along, the whole process. Like, that, I think, is more interesting for me, but they haven't invited me to be involved with that. So, I mean, all I can do is suggest it, and I have, and they haven't really gone with it Again, i'm not in hollywood i'm not in the industry so i don't think that they're going to really make the connection to having me come in as a consultant right consultant or mm-hmm. even a, right. as an observer i mean that's why would you do that well maybe this video will help get the word out <laughs> I mean, the fans, if they really want to see me make cameos, I think they're going to have to do something like petition or a letter campaign or something to Warner Brothers DC to be like, listen, we want to see her in Mm -hmm. some capacity other than just at Comic Cons or doing podcasts or things of these nature. You know, we want to see her in the movies. We want to see her on the show. We want to see some representation since she's really the only one doing it. Because I really am, for the whole Batman family, I really am the only one that's out there still interacting with, you know, the fans and, and trying right. to keep the whole story alive. Um, I, don't know. I guess they just don't see a value in it as of right now. But again, the fans have to push for that because they do mm-hmm. listen to the fans to a point. Well, <laughs> Batman and Bill is, yes. is out and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the word's getting out. I guess slower than we'd like. I'd say but... it's become pretty common knowledge too about Bill Finger's huge contributions yeah. to the character at this point. <laughs> so um, more so than before, it's mm-hmm. still not as widely known as you would think. I still mm-hmm. running with a lot of people um, that don't know the story. Mm-hmm. So um, I guess it just depends on you know what your exposed to i mean i guess with recently with the pandemic i'm sure a lot more people have been on hulu and just kind of right. going through everything because yeah. they've watched everything else so here's this documentary yeah. <laughs> that pops up you know mm-hmm, and i've right. had people do that in the you know in the last couple of years oh i just happened to come across it and oh my god right. i never knew like and so people who aren't even interested in comics are getting exposed to it that way but it's a small population you know, mm-hmm, they're yeah. not going to seek out these stories of true history and, and how it was wrong for so long, unless it's like, you know, something well known in a topic that they like, you know, like science mm-hmm. or, or some kind of archaeological dig or something along those lines that are more mainstream. Even right, though comics it's... are mainstream, but they're not yeah. mainstream mm-hmm. for everyone. So. Yeah, it's hard to tell with the internet because you get in your own little bubble and things will seem big and then, you know, no one will know what it is around you in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. It, I'm sure right. everybody has that experience. Like, <laughs> everything <laughs> is everything is niche after a certain point now, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's a whole other topic. Anyway, <laughs> yes. <laughs> thanks for coming on. Thank you. Well, and thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. And uh, we'll have to do for have we'll have you on for the for trailer two, whenever okay. that is. Sounds good. And, and uh, let us know if you like this video out there on uh, in YouTube YouTube land. Can I ask you a question before we kick off them? Oh, sure. Yeah. All right. So the whole Zack Snyder issue. Mm. <laughs> I did not prompt. Can of her, worms everybody. opened. This I did not prompt her to do this. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I mean, I've heard it's turned into a four-hour epic whatever, and he's, like, refilming and shooting new scenes and, like, all this craziness. Mm-hmm. I thought it was supposed to be a director's cut that was already, like, in the can. Uh, what you I guys believe heard? the... It seems like you hear a lot more than I do. <laughs> I, what I've heard is that the, the reshoots are for a few scenes that he had come up with after uh, he was given the okay. He was like, oh, it could be cool to add this in. Because it doesn't sound like he was doing reshoots for a very long period of time, so I don't think 
it, it was one of those things where it was complete if it was going to be released theatrically. But now, since HBO Max is like, hey, we can split it up into a little miniseries, and you went from having two hours to having four hours, you know, it gave them some more room to be like, well, it'd be cool if I could do this. And they're like, sure, do that. So that's that's the impression that I get from what was going on. Uh, There's yeah. also, I think COVID plays a part because HBO suddenly finds themselves with a gap in their release schedule. And they have okay. this movie that fans are clamoring for, huge online backlash to the whole Whedon thing that happened. Mm-hmm. So, and they have almost his movie there that was probably three hours <laughs> anyway. Three, you know, all, hours, it seems yeah, like all yeah. of his director's cuts movies are always three hours. So, and <laughs> yeah. they are launching HBO Max. They have to compete with mm-hmm. Disney Plus mainly. Yeah, it's still okay. DC versus Marvel. So they 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 need their content. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they need to just pump that content into HBO Max. They just it was HBO, remember? And now it's HBO Max. So they're just trying right. to get eyes on it. And this is just one well, of the ways they're that they're doing that. Merging the DC universe, universe or whatever they're calling yeah. it, with the mm-hmm. HBO Max, so that streaming channels no longer are going to be available. Which I don't know. It's really a good play. Not everybody wants to pay for HBO. Well, I, I mean, I think they're bargaining that more people. It's going to be a more mainstream choice for people than to pay yeah. for a specific streaming service for DC. I think is the the play that they're going with it. I mean, I right. personally was a fan of DC Universe. I we have as of this recording just a few more days until all the video library gets taken down, except for right. their original stuff. But all the all the archive libraries, Batman the Animated Series, all the classic stuff uh, gets taken off it, and hopefully just transfers right over to HBO Max. Yeah. Well, it's I think it's probably ultimately a better decision because Disney does not have a Marvel app. All the Marvel stuff is on the Disney, Disney Plus channel, app. Yeah. So it's just a way... Uh, it's weird. I don't even know if they compete with Netflix as much as they compete with Disney Plus. I think really that's their rival. So... They just, that would make just... sense, though. They're the two top ones, so mm-hmm. yeah, AT and T taking over. So, and HBO has always been an extra paid service. It's just now recently an app. So uh, no, you know, I it's... know, I, 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 I am aware of that, but um, just to switch it over and then not make it available, I think, just is poor planning. And then not be able yeah. to actually see the Snyder cut, and that's where we started with. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes, we I think it's going to be. There. Sorry, <laughs> it's going to be more. It's going to be more of a mini series than a movie. I'd say. I yeah, mean, it's going to have a movie version, a four-hour-long movie. But I'd rather v- look at it as a mini series. I'll watch it as a mini series too. I think here it was again another case where if it was re- if his Snyder Cut was released in 2017, we would not be seeing what we're seeing in 2021. Uh, right. He would have had to have edited it down even more because n- there's no way Warner Brothers is going to release a four-hour movie into theaters. There's just no way. So yeah, this yeah. is kind it of giving it more parts. Vis- they would say part one and part two like they do with yeah, they would have some to. of the others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they would have to. Uh, but at least with this, we have... Uh, it seems like it gives him more leeway to add in more that he had wanted because now it's like you have a little bit more time and... You can add more stuff, and there's all these people who are in post productions who are out of work or running out of projects, and now they had something else to work on, which I think is probably right. the the best part uh, to come out of the uh, it being sort of greenlit. Outside of obviously a lot of the the campaign dealt with with donating to charities for uh, suicide prevention, so there's a lot right. of yeah. lot of good to come yeah. out of all of this. The VFX work can be done COVID safe too you mm-hmm. know for the, i would assume for the most part so i mean I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot of green screen they're shooting now or they already did recently i don't know but right, i think the, re, the reshoots are probably fairly covid safe mm-hmm. also so it's just I, I think there was a lot of reasons this was uh this was greenlit mm-hmm. yep so yeah oh, are you excited time. for that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious on your take if you guys were like following what was happening with that and what the scoop yeah. was. 
we have. The latest is Zack Snyder saying that uh, Batman's going to drop an F bomb in the Snyder cut. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I heard saw about that. that. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I thought I, I was more intrigued about the comic that exposed him. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Batman damned. Which I have oh, one yeah. of those copies, the unedited yes. <laughs> one. <laughs> You can barely see it. Snyder. <laughs> I heard Snyder. it could have been bigger. <laughs> Zack Snyder, now I you know, know what Athena that, wants to I see. I mean, it's like in the shadow. You can't even see it, really. I mean, oh, okay. It was like full porn or something. Yeah, people make a big de- big deal out of that. Um, so crazy. Matt Reeves, it's not too late to add this into the Batman. <laughs> we, just, to, yeah. just to help out the granddaughter of Bill Finger demands it. We we try to look at the positive in all the directors <laughs> we see and on all that here mm-hmm. at superhero stuff you should know and uh, you know I understand people have problems with Snyder but I think Ben and I are looking forward to it. All right, all right. awesome. Well, thank, thank you very you much so for coming much. on. I yeah, thank, thank you. you. I'll see you Take care. Months, hopefully. Yep. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's talk. We ended up talking about bat dicks. All right, everybody. That was Athena Finger, granddaughter to the Batman co-creator himself, Bill Finger, and uh, we were discussing the Batman. So I'm glad that she's looking forward to it. I'm glad that she's aware of the whole uh, bat insignia that we uh, were discussing earlier. Yeah, um, it was. It's you know her being the the grandfather of Batman, basically. I mean, I know Bob Kane was there, but. You know. We've discussed that. Um, Watch Batman and Bill, and <laughs> you'll Bob know Kane what we're talking was around, about. But we all know the truth here <laughs> in, on this channel. Um, but uh, but yeah, to get her opinion on this, uh, sorry we didn't do this sooner, as soon as it came out. Uh, but uh, here it is, and I uh, hope you guys mm-hmm. enjoyed that. We, if you're watching this channel for the first time, we do well. Ben regales mm-hmm. usually me with. Uh, deep dives into mainly scripts that were unused for like uh, like recently the un- the uh, unmade Catwoman script or mm-hmm. uh, the uh, some of the other scripts we we did deep dives into uh, Darren Aronofsky's you know, year one yeah, yeah. the uh, the Batman and Robin sequel we didn't get which was Batman Unchained as well as Batman Dark Knight spelled as one word so we right. do a lot of deep dives into that as well as a lot of deep cuts into Batman history and Batman trivia that a lot of fans aren't aware about. There's certain things that I place by different tiers of what a lot of fans know and what they don't know and what they really don't know. And a lot of our podcast covers what they really don't know in the, in the, in the final part. Yeah. Lots of really deep dive stuff. So um, if you enjoy Batman trivia, please check us Mm -hmm. out and we're on YouTube, of course, like you're watching now. But um, if you'd like to listen to podcasts, you know, when you're driving or whatever, uh, we're on Spotify and iTunes and everything like that, everywhere you get your podcasts. And if we're not on the platform that you'd like us to be on, please let us know in the comments. Yep. And uh, I guess that's it. Yep. So thank you very much for tuning in. And thank you, Athena, once again. Yep.